Uh, okay, so how do you shoot a bullet? Um, if a player is clicking the button or if a player is clicking the mouse, so here's a short code that can work for you. Uh, first of all, create a player. Uh, you must have a player object. As you can see, it has a box collider. Uh, after that, I have created a script called bullet. So attach this script to your player, and uh, after that, uh, open this script. And in this update function, just write these two or three lines of code. Uh, first of all, if you want to detect the mouse click, so here is how you can do it. Uh, input dot get mouse button. Okay, and after that, zero and one basically indicates the left or right. Uh, so after that, if you uh, just create a game object, uh, first of all, uh, come here to the top of the code and uh, declare uh, a public game object called bullet prefab. This will be basically a bullet sprite or prefab or uh, whatever your bullet is. So after that, create, uh, sorry, instantiate a great game object called um, B, maybe for bullet, and uh, let's call it bullet. Okay. After that, uh, write this function instantiate, and uh, after this, in uh, call this bullet prefab, which is uh, which will basically instantiate this project, uh, this uh, prefab. After that, its position will be the same as the player's position. So it will be associated at the player's position, and uh, we don't want any kind of uh, rotation. And after that, just um, write this, and uh, then for the shoot, like for the projectile kind of thing, uh, so that it could move in forward direction, write this code: bullet. So if bullet uh, dot get component. Wait a second. Let me just make it a game object. It will be costed into game object. So now I think we can. Uh, bullet dot get component which will be uh, its rigid body and basically we will add force to its rigid body so that it, it can move in the forward direction uh, when we click on the button so transform dot forward and here uh, we will add some speed to it like for example 10 which is pretty slow but we will change it in uh, once we just uh, check okay so after that uh, come back to your unit editor and uh, create a bullet uh, if, if you have any kind of help uh, any else kind of bullet it's okay but i'm just going to create a sphere as a bullet it can be a sprite or anything and then i'm going to come here uh, and i'm going to add a component to it called rigid body and uh, after that i'm going to make it a prefab so that it can be instantiated again and again uh, wait, let me just uh, i think we should decrease the size to a little bit yeah, i think that's fine and after that apply it and delete it as we don't need it we already have saved it after that, go back to your player object and uh, drag this bullet into your prefabs. Uh, sorry, into your script. And after that, if if you play it now, uh, let's see what happens. As you can see, as I'm shooting, let me just drag this. As I'm shooting, it is uh, it is instantiating bullets. But here, it is creating a lot of bullets, which will uh, slow down your code. It is not no kind of an optimization. It will uh, cause errors during speed and or. Uh, it will use a lot of memory so here is how you can do it you can destroy it after about destroy the same bullet after about let's say uh, two seconds right so this this, this object this uh, second parameter is basically for um, for destroying it and what else we can do is uh, we can create a public uh, flow for speed so that we can we should uh, know we can change it from the editor or when we want to uh, let's by default it will be 10 okay uh, let's see what happens now okay so now if you play it now oh, uh, let me change the speed okay uh, let's change it to about 70 as you can see it is moving uh, let me let me just uh, rotate this game object so that it could hit the wall uh, yeah so as you can see it is destroying after about uh, two or three seconds and we can increase the speed to up as much as we want so this is basically how you can um, instantiate and fire a bullet on a mouse click now there is uh, this script allows you to uh, fire bullets when you hold down mouse like for, like as you can see I'm holding the mouse right now uh, so if you don't want that uh, you can also go here and click and uh, use this method called as get mouse button down it will instantiate only if you if you uh, if you click the button and it won't do it uh, when you hold it like for example as you see i'm just uh, clicking it again and again 
while I'm holding it is not uh, responding. Uh, so if I change it again, so this so basically get button is used for uh, holding and get button down is used for one single click. Uh, so if I do it again, as you can see, it is firing a lot of uh, bullets at one single time. And uh, after that, they can you can change this to something else. Like for example, uh, if you want to uh, get it on get key down, like you are using a space key for shooting, so you can use something like key code dot space. So it, when you click on space, uh, it would fire bullets. Uh, let's see. As you can see, I'm, I'm uh, clicking on space button in this. Instead sharing, so if you increase your size to uh, sorry, your speed to 200 or something, yeah. So that's the basic code um, to fire bullets or to shoot bullets or instantiate bullets uh, in any direction. And uh, if you guys have any problem with this, please let me know. And uh, yeah, that's it.